Wow, look at that gorgeous color. It's fall here in Ohio. It's not peak yet, though. But over there's where me and Caitlin are going to go hiking. Caitlin. <laughs> so when we get done with our hike today, we are going to use our new cardboard bush oven. Inspired by Kenneth Cram. If you don't know Kenneth Cram and his channel, I'll put a link to his channel up in the description. Down in the description and up in the video too. We suggest you check him out. He's the one that taught me how to make this. At lunchtime, we'll stop and get it out. It's lightweight. It's just made of cardboard. Right now we're gonna uh, we're gonna take our hike. Some Boy Scouts or something over here. This is the uh, Mount Gilead State Park that we're in. But that's where we're going up there. Got our map all out. Caitlin spotted a caterpillar. I don't know what it means. It's supposed to mean something. Definitely. More brown, better worse winter or something like that maybe I'm not sure I don't remember if anybody knows just put it in the comments well, Caitlin says her favorite fall color is red she really likes those red trees Caitlin calls these mountains. <laughs> They're really just foothills. We're going up another one. All right, go. I'm catching you. The leaves are covering up the trail. But how do you know you're on the trail? You look for the blue blazes or whatever color you're following. I asked her that and I didn't think she knew it and she did. She actually knew. It's the yellow blaze. You looking? Let's go across this bridge. That's yeah, me. somebody put marks in it. Not a very good thing to do. Is it, Sissy? No. Hurts the tree. Beautiful day out. Sun's peeking through the trees. It's gorgeous. Caitlin's got the map. She's leading us home. <laughs> She's done really good. Wait, how about painting woods? That's right. Very ruddy. Down there's the lake. So here's the stove, it packs in your pack, it's a cardboard oven, the pieces are back there so I'm going to get it out and set it up for you and show you. 
So my stove is made out of poster board. Um, it's 14 inches long, 14 inches high by 32 inches long. I bought a smaller piece of poster board so I had to, it was taller than 14 inches so I cut it and then I just added a couple pieces onto the end. Then I have four skewers, metal skewers. I bought them at uh, Odd Lots. There was four in a pack for two bucks. I got a cake pan for the bottom of it only because I had one, but it, you can use a uh, aluminum one if you want to, or you can make a cardboard bottom just like the cardboard top that I made for it. Um, you want some sterno heat. Um, he also does fire in it by using the aluminum liner, but you got to be really careful because you could burn your oven up. I brought my thermometer from home, but uh, and then there's a top to it. But I'll get it set up and show you. This is the first time I've used it, so we're gonna. I made some pre-made some uh, banana bread, and we're gonna bake a cake in that. Okay, that's what she looks like all set up. It's got a cardboard circle for the top of it, and I have my uh, thermometer sticking in the top so I can see when it's ready. But inside, I just lit a sterno can see it in there you want to leave a little space for air I do have some holes cut at the bottom too but these are about halfway up I would say I stuck a hole through them I've got four of them in there that'll be the rack is where you'll set your pan but we're heating it up right now see how far we can how far we can get it it's at 201 now 203 so we'll keep I need uh, 350 to bake the cake so I'll get the cake ready okay my hope my oven is way up to temperature way <laughs> so I have to cool it down some See, the trick is to regulate it. It's 363, so you have to open the door a little bit, give it some more air for the temperature to come down. It's cooking. It's regulating it that's hard. It's 354, it keeps fluctuating. So just kind of you kind of have to keep watching it and open the door a little bit and closing it a little bit <laughs> but I've kept it between 349 350 now it's up to 360 just kind of open it up a little bit Say hi. hi. <laughs> We've got the uh, UK EDC hammock hanging over there. She's been laying in it. She's waiting patiently. And voila, I think it's done. Pretty cool. I will see if I burned it or not. Well, it worked out good. It did get just a little bit brown, not too bad. So I think I might make another row of holes up just a little bit more. I think that's the only thing I need to do. That's about halfway, so I think they need to be up maybe another inch. But it didn't burn like, you know, so bad you can't eat it. So we'll cut it and see what it looks like on the inside now. So there's my modification. There, Here was my original holes. So I've moved them up to the top of the oven um, about an inch and a half. So the next time I come out, I'm going to use it again. And we'll see how much better it works, whether it burns it or not. That was the only thing that I had was a little bit of burnt. So we'll just move the, the skewers up more to the top of the oven. 
Okay, Caitlin. It's all cut. It's all good. <laughs> Is it amazing? <laughs> yeah, with just a little bit of adjustment, I think it'll work great. I think with some practice, you know, like I said, the hardest thing is just regulating the temperature. Just keep trying to, you know, keep it held at 350 or whatever, but works great. Um, I, he used Sterno. I suppose you could use any kind of heat that you wanted to. Um, he covered his in aluminum foil. I didn't have any. I covered mine in that foil tape that you buy at the hardware store. Um, I, I, like I said, I'll put a link to his video up in the description and down, or up in the video and down in the description so that you can go and watch him too. It's an awesome thing. And you could use this, you know, when the power goes out at home or, or anything. It's great. And it's lightweight. Right? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.